First up, Faraday Future revealed their debut production car here in Vegas. The much-anticipated FF91 promises supercar performance and impressive battery technology. Autonomy is big news here. We saw the car drive itself around a car park and back into an empty space. The car will also be able to read the driver's mood and will match the setting of the car to the temperature, the music, the seat massage setting and even the scent. But Faraday Future were not the only manufacturer releasing new models here at CES, most with artificial intelligence or autonomous features built in. Today we're showing off the Toyota Concept I, which is a future mobility concept vehicle and it has artificial intelligence. So it learns and grows along with you. In terms of how this vehicle actually works, it's very exciting because the vehicle has a personality and the personality's name is Yui. And the whole overall goal is to focus on the relationship between the vehicle and the driver. Honda's conceptual offering, a city car, the fully electric new V, was also released here, with again autonomy and AI being big news for the car brand. Years ago, everybody always had this really strong connection to their car, a very emotional connection with their car. And we're realizing that in younger generations, we're actually starting to lose that a little bit. So artificial intelligence is actually a technology that we can really use and benefit to actually try to inject that, that emotional connection back into automobiles. And if you look inside the car, its entire dash is actually a, a touch screen. If you, it's in autonomous mode and you're trying to get ready for a meeting, things can come up. So it, it's very adaptable and we really wanted that as part of the vehicle as well. Due to go into production in 2020, Volkswagen was showcasing the ID, their first fully electric car. Volkswagen's ambitious aim is to produce one million electric cars by 2025. Among them, they're breathing new life into one of the classics, a futuristic reimagining of their VW campervan. This is in addition to the ID Buzz, which was announced just days after CES in Detroit. Nissan was showing off the Nissan Mark II Leaf, their next generation of the popular EV. With semi-autonomous features to be included as standard within the next year or two, and with Nissan working with NASA on their tech, the Japanese manufacturer seems to be leaving no stone unturned in their pursuit of future driving. BMW had a big presence at this year's CES. Their BMW i Inside Future Sculpture, as they're calling it, was a very forward-looking vision of how our cars may look in the future when we embrace autonomy. Alongside the plants and the library, yes, really, they were showcasing their truly impressive hollow active touch, a hologram display instead of a dashboard, which you just hover your hand over and interact with the intelligent connectivity. 